but we always see them both in top eight. Yep, going with the Ooh, Guile we got and Guile. the Fong. Oh, versus Fong, how exciting is this? Well, this is going to be this is going to be a really good match up here. We don't see too many uh, experienced Fong players. No, Nova Spec definitely has Fong under his belt. I've seen him make top eights with Fong before. It's going to be interesting though to see how this matchup goes because I'm not sure how Fong can combat against a strong zone like zoner like Guile. Especially right with now, you can tell Fong is trying to work his way in on Guile, but Guile is keeping the projectiles heavy going against. Alright, found his way jumping out, got the nice flash pick ender. Oh, the activation! Nova Spec, let's see what you got. Alright, activation from Luigi now going in. Man, Luigi just stuck in the corner at the moment. Really difficult to kind of combat. Oh, I like the use of the X flash kick there. That was so smart. Closing it out the first round. Round two. All right, that's it. Luigi with Guile closing it out. All right, with the sweep, Luigi. All right, pulling through right now. I like the use they're trying to kind of jump over that sonic boom, going in with the forward throw. This pressure game, I think, is really difficult for Guile to kind of combat. Oh, interesting. All right, there great flash kick anti-air there for Guile. Gets a forward throw. Luigi sending over the poison. Yeah, I, it seems that Nova Spec really being careful here about his spacing. Great anti-air there for Guile. Luigi gets the activation. He's trying to get to oh, Great anti-air. Double flash kick for Luigi. He's going to close out that second round there. Yeah, Luigi looking very, very strong here. I think it's diff. I don't know if we're going to see maybe a character change from Nova spec, but it's definitely proving to be difficult to try and make any segue in because he can, you know, it, the big thing is Nova spec keeps trying to jump in and we're seeing Luigi anti-air every single jump in. Fight. All right, a little bit of trade there right off the beginning of the match. Guile still has the poison melting away a little bit. Great combo there for Luigi. Goes for a forward throw. Yeah, trying to slide under the Sonic Boom. It's going to be difficult. The timing has to be there, and I see that he's building up a lot of stun. He's got to be careful. All right, following up with the forward throw, keeping the pressure going. Great B reversal here by Guile. No respect working his way in, but that brain life, including with the damage he just got, is going to knock him out. That means Luigi is now at match point versus Nova Spec. Yeah, unfortunately, we, Luigi did have to take that poison there, starting off the round. I do like Nova Spec trying to be cautious about the Sonic Boom, especially with the V skill. You know, place the poison on the ground. Ooh, but that anti air reaches so high. All right, Luigi trying to find a safe way in. Gal goes for the back throw. Luigi putting on some work on to Guile, trying to find a safe opening, something to try to confirm off of. Throws Gal completely into the corner. Yep. Oh, I like their smart move going slide under. Keeping the pressure going. Oh, no! <laughs> Great activation. Combo into activation. Luigi keeping the pressure on Guile while Guile's life is melting away. It might not seem like the poison does much, but it's definitely making a dent here in Luigi's health. Exactly. It terrible. adds up slowly over a long period of time. And right now, Guile is about two moments away. He barely has that magic pixel left. We've got about 25 seconds left on the clock. Yep, looks like Nova Spec is a little impatient going in. Oh, it just works out in his favor, throwing out the poison ball. He captures Luigi in the air. Nova Spec finally getting that round. Hoping to see another day. We 
we have projectiles on the screen. Guile doing the back throw. Luigi, the, or I'm sorry, it's a Nova spec into the corner. Now he does have poison. Yeah, you see his life slowly trickling away there. Luigi really has to make something connect there, but again, I appreciate Nova Spec being very cautious with the Sonic Guns, placing poison on the ground. Ooh, the Great crash sweep counter. here. What's the mix up going to be for Guile? Going for forward throw. Crush counter for Fawn. Great anti here for Guile. Yep, backing up a little bit there. Luigi activation. I think that's such a smart play. From Luigi doing the activation, knowing that Guile the uh, flash kick would hit because of it. So, so smart on Luigi's part. Luigi going to be moving on through the winner's bracket. Nova Spec pushed down into loser's side. That was a great match, you know, especially considering that Nova Spec ended up losing his movement on the screen was amazing there was a lot of side switching um a lot of great stuff where he was trying to keep the pressure on guile but he just couldn't keep it up even though he was using those damaging combos with the poison it's melting his life away it just didn't give him the win yeah very unfortunate one thing too i'll say luigi was very on top of his anti-airs uh, he really took advantage of the fact that Nova Spec was taking a lot of jump ins, taking a lot of risks with that, and then he, uh, like, right at the end there with that activation into Flash Kick, that was so, so smart because that got that, it was kind of a weird spacing thing, but it really worked out in his favor to do the Flash Kick with the activation at the end. So I think that's what uh, really cost Nova Spec the rounds the most was those jump ins. So, right. Gonna, yeah, but no spec is not down and out for the count yet. Just moving down into loser's side. And speaking of which, we're going to hop down into loser's side. Take a look at what we got up next. It is looking like, I believe, JB versus Mario. The, the, yeah, it looks like that's that's next one we're going to have is going to be UYU JB versus possibly Mario, which yes. is also very interesting too because on the Street Fighter League we're going to have uh, JB's team UYU is going to be uh, fighting Sh Psycho Shinobi coming this Thursday. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be really busy with the amount of competition two two straight days in a row here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely uh, going to be interesting to see. Uh, I do see JB as well. He did a name change there, throwing some love to his teammate Oil King. Uh, got the Rashid. So going to be interesting, you know, seeing JB come back into Wednesday Night Fights, making the top eight, but going against Mario. Now, Mario had, I believe he placed uh, in top four for the circuit when Wednesday Night Fight ran it uh, last year. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, how, how he plays against uh, JB, especially because JB's Rashid is so, so strong. And he's also got a poison in his back pocket to pull out just for the special occasions. But... You know, is he going to stick with his main, especially because there's a lot on the line here being in the loser's side? Or is he going to try to, you know, experiment, try something new? It is. It's going to be interesting to see. Plus, you know, JB plays Rashid so confidently, and it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to do against Karine, both very... Round combo one. heavy aggressive characters and what are we gonna have yeah it's definitely gonna be interesting mario go has the carrying i think this has some potential to be pretty strong but again rashid has very very high uh mobility and he also has a lot of opportunities to kind of float in and out and you know jump around nice anti-air there Okay, you can see Karin trying to open Rashid up a little bit here. 
using her longest pokes to try to get in. A little bit of neutral play. Seeing a little bit of footsies. EX Tornado's on the ground. Yep, Mario's stuck in the corner right now. Finding a small confirm here. Great V reversal to get out of that corner situation. Now, both characters have roughly the same amount of life. JB is mel uh, gaining back some of his gray life and is now at 100 for his maximum life that he has. All right, going in with the shoulder here, trying to find an opportunity. Very much back and forth. Nice anti here, going in with the side switch. Confirm in the corner, EX. Okay, now JB right. also has a stun, is slowly melting away, and Karen closes it out. First round's going to go to Mario. Yeah, Mario definitely pulled through there. I think it looked really, really strong at the end. Very patient play. I very much appreciate that. So, JB is going to have to kind of pull through. You know, Rashid's kind of a crazy character, so we're going to have to see some crazy gameplay. Good. Solid combo there by Karen. Got the text in the center of the screen. JB using Tornado to try to get in. Yeah, I like the whiff there, trying to catch the walk forward. JB has to be very conscious from Mario. Okay, JB snuffs out the EX, tries to go for the jump in, anti air. Ooh, getting in, following it up. All right, JB stuck in the corner, following up the throw. Lots of stun being built, but honestly, just one hit might do it. And that throw it. sure will. Bro's going to close it out. Mario's going to get the first Party game wins. against JB. So Karine takes it. Yeah, Mario pulling through right now. I really appreciate he's playing very patiently. Just kind of, rather than being too offensive, he, you know, we saw towards the start of that second round, he was throwing out that uh, kick to try to whiff. Uh, JB's movement in and out, and it seemed to really work out in his favor. So I like this patience for Mario. Is he gonna be able to keep it up, or is JB gonna be able to pull something through here? Well, we're gonna have to see. That tornado connected that time, and Karen was able to walk up and do forward throw. JB jumping in this way out of the corner gets to the center of the screen. Yeah, that's a really difficult angle, too, to ant here. So very smart on JB's part. Out of the corner now. Has a little bit of an advantage. To sweep. B reversal Ooh. out. Tornado sticks to carry into the corner. Got the throw the ant here to follow. All right, Eagle Spike on out of there. All right, right backing up. Neutral play here. Now both characters have one bar and Harry does have access to the trigger. Yeah, both AP. Ooh. The confirm, the DP ender, and the back throw to close out the round. And that's it. Harry takes it. Round two. She is now at match point. Mario. All right, closing in the distance. I like JB very cautious of the spacing. Mario lands the throw. The unfortunate thing is that carrying throw has such a far like, range or throw space. You don't really get OP off of it. Oh wow, carrying really going for the mix up here. The highs and lows opens JB up. He's close to the gun. Gets a sweep, activates the feature for two. Goes for the cross up combo. Yep, pulling it through, trying to get that second cross up. It works out, and he gets the stun. Following through, that's going to be the round. No way! That's it, JB. Now Final has a point on the board. Five. Who is going to get the next one? Now, JB does have access to a full critical art bar. Yeah, and so does Mario now. So the meter really... Both players have full meter, full resources to play with. Right, backing it up. JD trying to get Ooh. the jump and gets in with the eagle spike. All right, but the deep heat return. Activation from JB going in. Pressure is on. Oh, great combo for JB. Oh man, Karen takes control once again. Gets a little bit of breathing room out of the corner. Activates her V trigger one. 
And it's anybody's game here. Both guys have roughly the same amount of life. Oh, and that's it. Man. The X Fin Mixer closes it out. Talk about a Rashid comeback from win. JB. Pulling it through. I guess he just needed to warm up his fingers real quick. That's right. You know, it could be. It takes a little bit to try to find what your momentum is when you're starting to play your first few matches. So this could be his first couple of matches for the evening. And we're going to see. We're going to see who's going to take this next one. one. But, you know, in the end, both of these uh, players are playing very cautiously. Yeah, it definitely seems to be a little more on the cautious side. I'm not seeing any over-aggressive gameplay from either player. Right. Um, it looks like Mario going for him. No, though. All right, JB sending it back into neutral. Okay, going for the lows here. JB trying to find a safe way to confirm. A little bit of movement, got a little bit of a trade on the low. Karim yep. had such long normals. You see the whole poke. Rashid. Okay, Rashid going to the beach or two. Throws Karin into the corner. A little bit of shimmy in to confirm. Woo! Catches her with a tornado. But gonna get back thrown into the corner. Activation from Mario. Oh no, that's unfortunate. That's gonna be a lot of damage here. Not a double kill, but Ooh, that the cross will do up it. closes it out for Mario. Oh, this could round be round two. point for Mario. Indeed. Man, Mario really pulling it back there. JB's gotta keep his momentum going. Hey, JB. Right, there's that pressure. That's right, I'm trying to get some momentum back on Karine again. Comboing into the tornadoes. Alright, got the DP to retaliate. Nice confirm, but JB again going in activation. Looks like we are going to be taking this possibly to the final round, but no, we have another EX. Anti uh, got to go for the throw there. There's so much going on all at once. And that's it, JB. Oh. It's been close to hell with the. You called it. <laughs> going yeah. into the last round. Who is going to take this? This is one game apiece. Whoever wins this will continue further into the winners. EX Tornadoes do hit. Yeah, JB right now looking. Very important, they building up that stun meter. All right, oh, EX Tornado gives him a little bit of breathing room on the way out. Activates his feature with two. Trying to get a mix up combo going, but the feature, uh, the reversal is out. Alright, trying to go in there. I like the V reversal, keep the pressure off him. Nice block on the Eagle Spike. Oh! Okay, this is anyone's game still. JB does have access to one bar, gets the throw. Right, backing off. Spending his meat for carrying once again. JB oh, has a considerable amount of great life. Goes for the crush counter and the eagle spike closes it out. Oh, JB man. JB forward. Rashid wins. Wow. Yeah. I think he took a little bit of a risk there, but that really, really paid off for him. It worked out so well because he was able to pull through and he's going to be moving it's on in time. the brackets. So. That was a fantastic match between two characters that can be very momentum based and aggressive, but neither one of them really steamrolled each other. They were both very cautious, waited to see what their best opening would be and tried to take the max damage, but we didn't see any extremely risky plays. What do you think? No, I would agree with that. I think both players were very, very cautious. They played very defensively. Um, that was the one thing I appreciate because usually you see something from like a Rashid, they're very rushed down, they're very heavy in your face. But right. JB seemed to kind of take more of a backseat to it and really worked out in his favor. It did. Um, yeah, it, especially towards the end there. So JB will be moving on and unfortunately Mario's going to be out. But we're going to move oh, on yes, down yes. in the bracket. I'm excited because yeah. we have got Sevile versus Flakito That's up right. next. So no. while we are getting this uh, 
next match on the screen. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, Sevile is going to do against Flaquito. And yes. um, I was going to say, because I believe Sevile is a, um, I always forget her name. You forgot to get the cup of coffee? Come on now. Yeah, the cup oh, of coffee. Well, get, the, hey, get the cup of Lucia, coffee. Yes. I was I all like the letter L was in my mouth, but I could not gotta the respect the law. <laughs> That's right, you got that accent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta bring a little bit of Brooklyn up in here. All right, so yeah, looks like we have Lucia versus Seth. Let's go. You know, two of the newer characters introduced into Street Fighter V. Oh, and we have an alternate costume for her. Okay, nice. Did they plan this? They kind of match. <laughs> we do. They All right, well, we have an extremely aggressive start here for Lucia. Yeah, quite a change in pace here compared to the last. Definitely keeping the pressure on. Oh, a very unfortunate cradle. The sun are ready. Man, Sevile is just steamrolling this match. Okay, Seth working his way out of the corner a little bit. What are we going to have? Well, oh, that's it. The overhead. Boom's gonna close it out. Sevile, first round on the board. Yeah, Sevile, man, really just steamrolled that first match. I like the aggression there. It was very, very difficult, I think, for Flakito to find any opportunity to kind of make a poker moment, but finally kind of making it a, a comeback here. Getting some damage on the board. You can see Seth trying to get something going, but. A little bit of a trade on the anti-air there. Lucia keeping the pressure up, pushing Seth into the corner, going for the forward throw. Seth trying to get out with Cradle, but Lucia once again closing it out. <sighs> Activation there. The risky thing with V-Trigger 2 for Seth is that it is Lucia not a comeback factor. It, you can't rely on it to be. Unless you know you can confirm into it, it's really unfortunate because it just leaves you at a disadvantage. So. Right. You know, a lot of uh, Seth players enjoy using V-Trigger 2, but I always think that V-Trigger 1 is utilized a little bit more. But once again, here we go with the jump in here for Lucia. Yeah, getting right. a lot of damage off of Seth. Once again, the dash up throw. Yeah, Flakito's really gonna have to try to find something out. All right, building up a lot of stun too. This is very scary for Flakito right now in the corner. And the gray light going up, and that is gonna be it. Lucia is gonna be closing it out once again. Has another round on the board, Sevile. Yeah, Sevile pulling it through. Again, it just seems to be steamrolling match after match. Round point rate, or a match point right now for Sevile. Okay, great connection here for Seth. Hits combo of five hits. Blocking the tornado kick, but unable to capitalize off that. Okay. Ooh, nice confirm. Seth. Getting a little bit of breathing room, but his stun is slowly starting to melt away a little bit here. We see it with the V reversal. Yep, going in. Oh man, the check. So strong from Sebele. Gonna pull through. What a quick couple of rounds. From Very Sebele. much so. You know, just like how we were saying earlier that there were two characters that were heavily momentum based. Here we have two characters it's that were no also time. momentum based, but one of them was steamrolled on. And the problem with Seth was he had no answer in how to slow Lucia's pressure down. And each, each time he ended up finding himself stuck in the corner. Yeah, it, it really seemed to be a difficult position because the moment he was in that corner, he really didn't have an answer to get out of there. You know, right. he, he had some ability to make some confirms when he was more in the neutral, but again, the moment that he was in the corner, he really seemed to shut down. And the thing I have to commend, uh, commend Sevile for is the ability to maintain that pressure 
Um, it, it was definitely a, a scary, it's very scary to be in Seth's face like that, that much, but Civil A, you know, kept his composure really well and able right. to pull through. So we are going to see more of that Lucia action. I see a lot of fan boys and girls in chat, so definitely going to see some more Civil A uh, coming up, but we still got some more matches first. Actually, we may be seeing Chris versus Luigi next. Uh, no, I think Nova Spec versus JB. Oh, we never know we for sure. Well, we'll we'll know when you guys know. <laughs> but I'm I'm very cur curious, Kate. You know, mm -hmm. I I see you had the the Vega pick a little bit. Is that your main? Yes. Well, for I played Vega for many years. And uh, I've been going in between a couple of characters off and on. So I played a little bit of Guile, a little bit of Chun-Li. I'm playing a little bit of Akuma. How about you? Uh, I, I'm a Chun-Li main. I'm a Chun-Li lover. You know what else I love? Seeing that Macharino go up, I want to see more people donate into the Macharino. I see right now it's at the $60. And I know there's some more co codes out there that you guys can use to increase that Macharino pot even higher i want to see that pot even higher than the amount of comments i see about chun li's standing heavy punch you guys know it's fair it's a fine button give chun li something to work with they nerfed her to the ground in season two she's allowed oh to have her my hands goodness <laughs> her normals are some of the greatest longest reaching normals of the whole game she's she has so many good tools and it's so great watching accomplished Chun Li's play her, you know, at a high level. She's so entertaining to see. Oh, absolutely. And I have to say, too, I love a good Vega play. You know, very, very fun character, very, very mobile. So it's always like, you know, you're trying to figure out where he is on the screen. So yeah. I hate playing against <laughs> him, but watching him is all the more fun. There's usually so. a little bit of shenanigans involved, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of shenanigans, I believe we are gonna have Nova Spec up next on deck. We are just waiting for JV to pop in to the lobby. So if we see the Nova Spec go with uh, with the Fong, I don't know if we will, but if we do, it's gonna be interesting if, if JV sticks with the Rashid. I, I don't know how that matchup would go. I, I always we there's these like. Characters that aren't commonly picked, you always wonder how the matchup is going to play out. Right. I would think that uh, Nova Spec would have to get the confirm on the poison on uh, Rashid for JB, and then he would have to play it extremely safe because JB is going to try to get the mix up on Fong. He would have Absolutely. to try to play as patiently as possible so that the poison can help slowly take his life away and then he can in addition to that get the big damage that he would need yeah it's definitely gonna prove difficult especially because if jb's going with the machine which i expect that he will um yeah they're oh they're they're both purple <laughs> oh here we go everybody's purple today <laughs> all right we've got fong versus rasheed here we go for the first round I love the matching. Do you think they called each other and like, hey, I'm picking this alternate, you pick this one? <laughs> it's possible. But right now, Fawn's struggling a little bit in the corner. JB, yeah. uh, JB keeping that pressure on. Yeah, again, I think this three. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I think this is a very difficult matchup for Fawn just because of how mobile Rashid is. Going in, he's able to kind of slide in and out, and he has some ability to make some great jumps there. And I, the thing I appreciate too, JB's not afraid of the poison because right. you can see how it's whittled down his health only a little bit, but he knows if he can get that confirmed, it's fine. Ooh, but Nova Spec making the comeback right now. Activation from right. JB. And both characters have access to the trigger. JB trying to work his way over to get an opening on Kong, but we got the side switch combo here. Neutral jump for JB. Okay, now JB is life bar is melting away a little bit. Ooh, getting hit by something there. Poisonous. I'm not sure what, but I know one of those things hit him. Alright, trying to do 
out of the corner, backing up again a bit. Okay, sending over the poison once again. JB working his way over, and the overhead is going to knock JB out. This round is going to go to Nova Specs Bond. Yeah, really interesting there, because I thought JB would have had it, but Nova Specs really brought it back, even with such a low, or such a life difference. Going in with the throw, JB's got to be careful too. Sunbar melting down a little bit, accesses his feature. Yep, small confirmed here from Nova Spike. JB's life dwindling down, going in with the side switch. Okay, Ooh. now, but gets caught at the tail end there. Small confirm JB. from Nova Spike. Okay, JB gets the sweep. Got the throw. Now, Bond does have access to a full critical art bar. JB does have a poison right now. Okay, Try and find a safe way in on Kong. Throws the DX a tornado, but Kong closes it out with a critical art. Spicy critical art. You know what else is spicy? Mr. Mistopheles with the raid. Oh, I see you uh, out there. Shout out to Mr. Mistopheles. Make sure you guys go give him some love. Fellow commentator on the Wednesday night fights lineup. But, uh, man, talk about a like comeback from Nova Spec. I thought this was going to be re a lot more difficult for him. Round but one. man, he is pulling through. Fight. Yeah, a lot of patient play here by Nova Spec. Throwing the poison once again onto JB. Trying to find a safe way in on Fawn. Oh, boy, the beginning of that tornado got snuffed there by Fawn. JB yep. with the neutral jump combo. Eagle spikes Fawn into the corner. Yep, nice back throw there. Nova Spec kind of in the advantage right now with a great life lead. JB using that EX meter to get out of the corner. Tornado up into the sky. Okay, now both characters have roughly the same amount of life, but Fawn does have access to his beach bar. JB taking poison once again. Gets yeah. some breathing room with the EX tornado. Backing up a little bit here, trying to create some space. He really wants to kind of go in at his own time. But man, Nova Spec pulling through in his face. He's gonna have to take the throw. That's it. Loses the round to a forward throw. Now this is match point here for Nova Spec. Yeah, Nova Spec looking pretty nice right now. And my this is loser side, so. You don't get a second chance to make up for it. You're out. Going in, lots of good damage already on the board from Nova Spec. Nova Spec is slowly putting the pressure on JB, but he does get caught and pushed into the corner. EX command dashes his way out. JB accesses his feature. Goes for the crush counter. Closes it out with the tornado. Yep, nice break on the throw there. Nova Spec trying to fly his way out, but. Sorry, you're not a bird or a plane, you're just a man on the ground. All right, now we have a round on the board here for JB. Okay. I'm trying to pull through. And again, too, we kind of see this before. Yeah, we've seen this before with JB. You know, he, he was down a couple rounds, but he found his momentum and brought it back. But right now, Nova Spec is proving to be a strong foe. That's right. Blocks the EX Evil Spike. Going for the air to air. The pressure, the throw. Great nice air. Went for JB, but gets in by air. EX Tornado. Catches the B reversal. Oh. And that is I... it. Yep. The stop sign to the face. Nova Spec taking the win. Moving on. That was quite an interesting match. I think we saw JB a little more aggressive here. But yes, the thing I really excuse me, appreciate is that Nova Spec was able to maintain this pressure and maintain this composure. You know, he didn't let JB kind of run all over him. And I think right. the big difference too is that Rashid, even though he's got great mobility, he doesn't have a lot of damage. So you right. have to have a lot of confirms to really have that all add up. 
you could also tell when uh, Nova Spec would throw out his poison. He was slowly trying to figure out how to use some of his longest ranging moves to keep Rashid out. And it wasn't until later on in the match that JB was playing more aggressively and he was doing a little bit better. But in the end, it was the poison and the slow, methodical back and forth that ended up closing it out. So that was that was a very interesting good match. Yeah, it's always interesting when you see these less common uh, characters being picked, like Fong, um, like Lucia, which we're about to see here with Sevele versus Mira, uh, rounding out our loser side. Uh, it, it is always really interesting because you have to kind of really deeply understand the matchup knowledge and know how to play against Fong and how to kind of understand where his damage points are. The thing I will give respect to for JB though is he was very, he wasn't uh, afraid to get hit by the poison if it right. meant that he still had the opportunity to, uh, I, I guess, to get more damage and to get the advantage. Because a poison, if you're at a large amount of health, really doesn't matter too much. It's more so dangerous if you're at that low amount. Fight. But we can uh, write JV off for the evening because we got Sevele and Mira up next on deck. I'm excited. That's for right. That. We've got, once again, two extremely momentum based characters. Yeah, Mira. Oh, man. Really did damage here. Yeah, Mira very, very strong with her Laura, and again, as you said, both very momentum based, especially Sebley we saw in the last match, just constantly on the go, but Mira is a force to be reckoned with, we're seeing that here, that first round going to her. Round two. That's right. Mira's gonna take that first round, and Sebley's gonna try to- Oh, great anti-air there for Laura! Yeah, the thing I think that can pose a little bit difficult for Mira here is the use of those projectiles. Nice confirm though from Sevele going in. Got the legs. And the nice confirm. Oh. Great fight with combo here for La uh, Laura. And the EX Tornado anti air. Both ladies have roughly the same amount of life, but that's it. The activation and the combo is going to close it down and Laura Laura's going to take it. Yeah, Amazing that play here by Mira. Absolutely. And that's the thing too, not only as a Laura, um, but as a player, Mira is such a strong, it's strong competitor. Time. You see this constant, like, I, I can't even explain, just this constant, like, thrashing from Laura where right. you, you really just have to play so cautiously, otherwise you you're going to get put in the blender. And really, when you're playing against a character like that, it, the round almost becomes a two, possibly three mistake round. Because if you do any more than that, the amount of damage that you are going to incur is way too much. Absolutely. And that's the thing, too, is the... Laura has such strong ground play. I think her only weak spot really is in the air. But even then, if you've got great anti-airs, then it, it, it's really difficult. Oh, but we're seeing the character switch from Sevele That's going right. in with a Nakali. Switched over to Nakali. What are we gonna have here? Talk about ground play. Nakali very strong on the ground. Okay, these both characters trying to get in on each other. A little bit of pokes here. Nikali slowly getting pushed into the corner a little bit. Goes for the anti- or goes for the dive kick. Laura gets the side switch combo. Goes for the fan grab. Ooh, getting hit with the next. Gets the crush counter. Oh, oh no. Nikali's uppercut. Activation from Mira, this is definitely... Oh, not quite, actually. But that'll close it out. Man grab does it. Mira now at match point against Zephyle. All right, Mira definitely looking to take this right now. Zephyle's gonna have to make something work with Nikali. The difficult thing too is 
Nikali doesn't truly become a full-fledged character until he reaches activation. Then he's scary, so... So he's gonna have to build up on meter fast. Okay, you can see Nikali trying to open your up a little bit here. Whoa! Great air command grab. Great anti-air also for Mira is really playing on point tonight. Her reactions are really on there, and that projectile is still on the screen. Yeah, and it, it was smart that Subway took that projectile. All right, here's the activation. The party is started. He got his hair rocking back and forth. That's right, the endless activation. Nicole goes for the uh, dash up back throw. Great combo here. And it's going to close it out. That is round on the board for Sevele. Yeah, definitely Fine. great moves there from Sevele. Again, this is what I'm talking about. Once that activation takes in, you really got to be careful. You got to play super clean. Okay, you are trying to get something going here. It ends up using her normal. Great anti air. Stun is slowly adding up here for Sevele. Nice anti-air there from Mira. Going in with the forward throws and the stun. This is definitely gonna close out the round. Very convincing. Laura Unbelievable wins. matches here for Mira. You know, yeah. she had a constant awareness of where Sevele was on the screen at all times. She anti-aired things it's go immediately. Time. That's oh, just absolutely. amazing, you know? Yeah, I think I would have liked to see some better ground play from Sevele as far as using like a ground pound, you know, to kind of check Mira, um, especially trying to keep Mira out of your face. Uh, Cause that's obviously where right. Laura is the scariest is when she's right in your face. So you want to try to keep that distance and play more at your range that you're comfortable with. Nikali has some decent neutral, not the best, but obviously decent enough that, uh, you know, you have stuff to work with there, but it's very unfortunate there. Sevele not going to be moving on, but Mira will be moving through loser's side. So it's going to be lots of good stuff. And again, too, this just, you know, goes to show how strong a competitor Mira is. Um, exactly. Right. We, really able to change up the game plan when you're faced off against two completely different characters that aren't the most picked in, in the no roster. Time. So great job from Mira. Yeah, and, you know, shout outs to Mira also. She has been playing in the Queen of the Hill tournaments and the uh, Queen of Quarantine tournaments and, um, you know, really putting a lot of good use with Lara, you know, such a formidable character. She's still, she's still unbelievably good. You know, we were talking earlier, Idom pretty much got Capcom Cup with Lara, you know, extremely strong character. Yeah, that's the, the thing with Lara too, is she is so strong and she has a lot of, uh, tools and, and tool Let's belt, tools can battle a lot of scenarios and really be in your face. And when you put that tool in the hands of somebody like Mira and IDOM, you're going to see the magic happen. You're going to see these kind of players make top eight over and over again, because you give them the right tools, they're going to, you know, make things work. But right. speaking and you know of... What? And even at that point, then you can really see what can this character do? Because mm -hmm. these people, like how we were speaking earlier about Fong, when you have somebody that's a character specialist, then that's when you can see everything of what the character has available to them and how you can use them at their best. Absolutely. And speaking of character specialists, Playing your best. We got Chris CCH up next on deck versus Luigi. We're gonna see that Seth gameplay, that Chef's Kiss action versus the Guile. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, now we're gonna have to see if Chris Round is gonna one. feel a little bit more uh, comfortable and get a little bit more aggressive here against Guile in these future rounds here. Yeah, definitely going in aggressively. I appreciate this from Chris here, not giving Luigi a ton of opportunities to start that zone gameplay. 
Nice anti there. Closing it out with the cradle and the throw. Stun is building, and there it is. That's it. Chris is going to close it out. Gets the first round on the board. Now Luigi yeah. tries to go for the low with the combo. Seth slowly pushing Guile into the corner. Goes for the spin kick. Yeah, and the, the difficult thing too, dealing with that axe kick, especially at that range, you really have to be prepared with, you know, either your anterior or with your flash kick. Seeing it land there, lots of damage being dealt. Going with the throw. All right, Sonic Boom into activation. Goes for the Sonic combo. Whoop, a bit of shimmy into the forward throw. All right. Oh, into, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah! Work. Dang! Ow. Just had the, the baby booms and enough right. meter to pull through with that round. But looks like Chris is pretty starting it off strong with the jump in. Going in, Luigi stuck in the corner. That's it. He does have access. Two bars, but Kyle, that's it. Has the stun in the corner. Neutral jump combo here. Chris. He's gonna close it out with his critical art, you know? And that's the unfortunate thing. If you're trying to get around and spend all of your meter, it can be such a deficit because when Chris started his, he had a full stick of butter on his side. Yeah, that's the, the difficult thing too, is once you spend all your meter and you're going into the next round, you no longer have the resources to be able to play with. Uh, and so that does leave your opponent at a great advantage like we're seeing here with Chris CCH. He really pulled that through. And talk about, you Round know, not one. only ending with the Fight. critical art, but also PKL. That's going to set you pretty confident, I'm sure, into the next round. But we'll find out here. Luigi already started out pretty strong. Great, Guile backing up. Throwing some projectiles on the screen here. Getting a little bit of neutral play going. Combos into a Sonic Boom. Seth yeah. is going to use some of his longest normals. Goes for the forward throw. Pushing Guile slowly into the corner. Great anti air there for Seth. Yeah, nice side switch too. Going in with the B reverse with the back of Boom. Ooh, I like the answer there with the flash kick activation yeah. and flash kick again. Okay, Sonic Boom's still on the screen there. Yeah. Seth working with quite a light deficit here. Activates his V Trigger 1. Does have access to a full critical art bar. Pulls Guile in. Goes for the EX uppercut. Oh, and that's it. Guile's going to get it. The fade away, the punch, the, the knock on the noggin. Luigi looking pretty nice right now. Alright, I like this pressure with the axe kick. Chris, you see it's kind of cautious here about the spacing. Ooh, nice punish. Going him with the throw. Alright, Luigi's Alan stuck in the corner. Finding his way into the corner. Anti air is going to knock him back onto that side once again. Both characters have access to the critical art bars. Guile keeping the spacing with the EX booms. Seth getting some damage here on his pokes. Yep. Risky there with the, the heavy kick, but pulling through. All right, backing up. Oh man, we got a flash kick combo with critical art, and that's going to close it out. All right, we are one each competitor, Luigi and Chris. Now, because this is winner's finals, this is going to be first to three, right, Lexus? You are correct, Kay. It is first to three, so they're still gonna have to pull through, and because it is winner's side, it doesn't mean that it'll be the last we'll see of these competitors here. One will just hop down into losers, so. It's gonna be interesting, though, because I think it's very much going back and forth. It seems like Luigi's had to work a little bit harder as far as trying to get that damage going, but Chris CCH having some difficulty trying to make it in. Kyle keeping the pressure going on the Sonic Boots. Once again, working his way into the corner a little bit, though. Gets the back throw. 
Ooh. But it's got God. by Seth. His life soul whittling away. And the stun. It gets stunned out. Round here to Chris. Boy, very formidable. Round set, right. doing very well. <laughs> Show me everything. Yep. Guy got the, the command grab. No yeah, got the V skill going in now. Oh no, that's gonna be quite a punish here from Chris CCH. It's lots of damage. Oh, oh and a stun blocks him! The flash kick, and that stun's gonna get you again. Going for the jump in combo. Yeah, but lots of damage here. Not gonna be enough to kill, but definitely enough to do plenty of damage. That axe kick will do it. That's right. Closes it out with that axe Set kick. Wins. Axe kick. Chris two Luigi one, and whoever gets this, if, if Chris gets this next round, he's gonna be going to grand finals. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be sitting very comfortable. Uh, so Luigi's gonna have to. You know, play. Yes, this is winners finals. He is gonna have to play. Round you know, one. a little bit smoother here right. to pull through. I think he's relying pretty heavily here on the zoning game, and his defensive action is just not enough. We're gonna see. He's trying to stay towards the center of the screen a little bit more, getting a little bit of hits there, but these hits are going into confirms here for Seth. A little bit of a shimmy, goes for some more pokes. Giles, stun adding right. up, but we do have future activation. Yep, the baby boomers are out. Ooh, but the a EX axe kick, that's gonna be. Okay, and that's it. The, I believe it's neutral medium kick's going to close it out there for the next round for Seth. Now, this is match point for Seth. Pulling in, doing the man grab. Yeah. Kyle, keeping his spacing a little bit. Definitely cautious here, because CCH trying to find his opportunity in. This on the throw, no punish. Ooh, but the touch on the toes and the throw to close it. Got the I like the beautiful pressure on Kyle. Throwing out some EX on things. Flash kick confirms. A flash kick is kind of nice because it does put him in a pretty decent position as far as keeping that spacing. Now, Niall was Ooh. trying to heal some more gray life, but now is thrown into the corner. Ooh. Small confirm there on the cross up. That was scary. Back in the neutral activation from Luigi, following it up with a critical art. That is going to close Ooh. it out. We have a round for Luigi. Yeah, Luigi definitely not going round without a fight. But Christy CH moving into the next round with full meter here. This is scary for Luigi. Dial slowly. Dancing back and forth, going in and out of the danger zone here for Seth. EX axe kick. Oh, wait, no, EX combo here for Seth. Yeah, great universe pressure of the dial in the corner. Yep, Luigi trying to send it back into the neutral. I like the B reversal, keep him back in the corner. Both characters roughly having the same amount of life. Great anti air flash kick there for Guile. Another V reversal for Seth. Goes for the forward throw, and that gray life is all gone. Ooh, again, another great anti air with the flash kick activation. Oh! Yeah, would it be it? Luigi closes it out. We are now winners finals to Luigi and to Chris. Yeah, what I'm really appreciating, Luigi has some really great anti airs here with the flash kick, but. I want to commend Chris CCH so far. He's using this V reversal to actually is more of an offensive tool to keep right. Luigi in the corner or to combat against the sonic boom to get him in Luigi's face. So Chris is playing Round really, really one. well. But Luigi's pulling through. You know, and that's one thing you can say also about Luigi and how patient he's been playing. 
but we haven't really seen too many jump forwards. He's been playing a ground game this whole time, but in playing that ground game, keeping the pressure on Seth in the corner, Seth dangerously close to stun, but activates his feature, and that stun has disappeared. Yeah, and I like to not using up all of that V trigger meter. He wants to save it to give himself a little more oomph in his other moves. Gonna see it there. Yep. Side switch again. It's gonna give him a nice advantage with the wake up flash kick. This is a huge comeback here for Seth, but we have V trigger activation here for Guile. Sending those booms over. A wave of booms. Oh, I am so nervous for Chris right now. Oh, that's it. It gets him with the crouching medium kick. Guile gets the round on the board. Now, if Guile gets this next round, that means Luigi will be going to grand finals with a full crit with a full critical art bar. Yeah, he's got plenty of meter here to play with. So nice get jump in there. Firm on the jump in. Luigi really putting in some work here. Seth down to about 40%. EX Sonic Boom's on the screen. Wake up EX Dragon Punch. All right, activation here from Chrissy Sage. Got crush countered. Oh no! Wow! Too much confidence in the cradle! Oh. Oh, that was amazing work by Luigi. You know, he knew when to get that jump in. It was safe, got the maximum damage on it, kept the pressure on Seth in that final round, and clutched it out. Really, that whole match was just a solid clutch match. How it's many times time. was Luigi stuck in the corner? And you kept thinking, oh my god, my character is in the corner. It's such a stressful situation. Yeah, it definitely, I think, was... It, it was very much back and forth between Luigi and uh, Christy C.H., and the thing I really appreciate is that, you know, there was round to round to round to round. There wasn't like a total uh, bulldozing of any kind. And right. the thing too is Chrissy CH, I think used some normally defensive tools really optimally like the V reversal. Um, but Luigi again, hold, held onto that meter, which normally I would advise against because you want to spend the meter that you have so you can use it. But right. Because normally, uh, it can gain back pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah, but I think Luigi just had the confidence there to pull through and utilize the meter to the best of his ability. I think he got, what, two to three? That's uh, right. <laughs> it was the nail we, we took it down to the very final round. It was amazing. Yeah, what it, it really was. But That's talking it. about Nova amazing... Up next. Yeah, amazing gameplay up next. Nova Spec versus Mira. We're gonna see some uh, Laura versus some spicy, spicy poisonous fong. This is going to be interesting because Nova Spec is gonna one. really have to try to figure out how to slow down Laura. Yeah, this is, I think, could be very difficult uh, matchup for Fong here just because Laura has so many tools. You know, she's got the bolt charge um, and she can really play in your face, which I think is where Fong is the weakest. Now, right now, Laura did get the poison. Great cross combo there for uh, Fong. She is slowly getting the stun, gets the activation of her V-Sugar 1. Yeah, I see Nova Spec 2 backing up quite a bit here. Does not want to be in Laura's face. And I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to be there either. So, but you can't back yourself into a corner, and that is what he's done right now. Oh, that is great. Air command grab there. Confirmation for Laura. All right, activation for Nova Spec. Ooh. Man, that's it. The projectile is going to close it out. First round. It's going yeah. to go round two. Nova Spec playing very, very strong right now. I think Mira is just a little too too impatient here. It's not working out in her favor. Anti air. Anti air there and side switch once again by Fawn. Blocks the splits river. Yeah, definitely looking very strong. Going in with the throw, sending Mira into the corner, backing off though. Nice. Great anti air. Anti -air once again. 
Yeah, I think the difficult thing we're gonna have to look at here too is if Mira understands the Fong matchup. Right. You know, and that's one thing, once again, about those full character specialists. They pick their certain character and they play them extremely well. So right yep. now, Fong trying to play the keep away game a little bit. Gets caught by the electricity. Yep, the bolt charge going with the side switch overhead. Great confirms from Mira and... Oh! Just missed on the stun and Fong closes it out. Novus wow. back. Gets the first game. Fong wins. You know, I have to admit that was quite surprising because you would think this would be such a like difficult match for Fong, but I don't know if this maybe just a character matchup like knowledge issue or if Novosmack is just playing this uh, you know sort of footsie game. Just He's super playing awkward. really elusive, but at the mm -hmm. same time, when he does those smoke bombs, it's acting a little like a shield. And the EX mm -hmm. smoke bombs are helping to knock out some of those bolt charges. So she's having a little bit difficult time coming in with the smoke on the screen. But once again, Laura, she's gonna have that poison trying to get some damage here on on Fong, who right now is going with the perfect. Yeah, definitely looking very strong, and I agree with the smoke here. Activation from Mira, backing off a little bit. Trying to get a hit, but just a little impatient there on the overhead. That's it, Mira down to the magic pixel. She does still have a lot of her feet trigger. EX, command grabs her way in, tries to go for the uh, elbow, but feet trigger for the reversal of the pawn. Yeah, oh man, this is definitely down to the wire right now. Mira's really trying to play smart. Going in, finally lands a command grab. Oh, okay. Oh, talk about a spicy end with that throw. And speaking of spicy. Yeah. Oh, great. Party of 27 from Maverick FGC. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. You may now be seated. Enjoy some great gameplay right now. No respect. Looking very strong with the lead. Fong with the cross-up combo, gets the forward throw, keeping the mix-up going on Lara. Goes for the forward throw, tosses her into the corner. Yeah, backing off a little bit here, sees the bolt charge. I like the interruption. Oh man, <laughs> that's just such an unfortunate position to be in. You're stuck in the corner with the smoke in your face. But once again, Fong remaining quite elusive, keeping a very safe distance away from Lara. The poison slowly doing its job. She's down to the tiniest bit of life here. Electricity yeah. just blocked on the screen. Nice block there, using the V reversal to get out of the corner again, creating lots of space. No respect does not want Mira anywhere near him, especially while she still has that sliver of V trigger left. Right, and that is it. He is going to close it out with a normal. Once again, no respect, that is going to be two. Wow. Yeah, talk about insane gameplay. No respect. Really it pulling was very, it through. Very intense. So what ended up happening was Laura could not gain her momentum and her mix-up play against Fong, and that way she couldn't she couldn't continue any of the pressure that she needed to get going. There weren't any big confirms since big damage, and she ended up struggling a little bit there at the end when he was playing keep away. Yeah, and I think a big part of that too was because of Fong's use of the poison balls as well as the ground smoke. You know, right. I feel like Laura can heavily rely on her bolt charge to really start any solid mix-up game and also kind of catch any sort of like pokes or opportunities to hit an overhead. Um, but when you put the smoke into that, I like guess that, you know, not only diminishes any attempt to sort of dash in with a grab, but also right. diminishes the bolt charges that Laura relies so heavily on. So unfortunate for Mira, she will not be moving on tonight, but she did play wonderful. And if you guys want to see more of her action, you guys can check her out this Friday at the Queen of the Hills finale. Definitely worthwhile to check out. But we're we're in Wednesday Night Fights tonight, and I know you guys want to see some amazing Street Fighter V action.
option. Just like I do. Hey, who do we have up next? Well, we are going to be taking a look at... It looks like it's going to be... Let's do this. Well, let me see here. Try to refresh the screen real quick. Looks like we I know, waiting are... for the bracket to load. <laughs> yeah. No Speck and Mirror just played. It is, from what I can tell, Chris and No Speck is going to be on the screen. Yeah. So I hope you guys aren't tired of Fong yet. I know I see some people right. asking for Fong to be nerfed, but you're going to have to wait at least a couple more matches. This is a Seth Round and one. Fong matchup here. So Fight. we already had Fong versus a heavy momentum based character with the whole defensive keep away, but Seth working his way in. Yeah, definitely. Not keeping Seth out. Show me everything. All right, going in with the V skill. Nice confirm there. Oh, and he gets the ground smoke as well, I believe with the, the V skill, which is interesting. So it's going to be another kind of defensive tool for Chris CCH if he relies on that. Blocking that axe kick. Great combo with activation here for Fawn. Side switch there, but great defense from Chris CCH. He's still poisoned though, so that health is slowly going down. All right, V skill again. Great fighter there for Fong closes it out, and that means the first round. Round two. To go to Nova Spec. I'm pretty sure Nova Spec just anti aired the axe Stay kick, and that is something that is so difficult to do. So it's really, really impressive right now. But and Chris is pulling through. Great damage here for Chris. Stun adding up, keeping the rush down on Nova Spec. And, and yeah, the stun. Yeah, he's coming out with lots of damage here. Ooh, the axe kick is oppressive! Sid, axe kick closes it right out. We are one round apiece. Uh, all, all I'm trying to say is, is nerf the axe kick. I see nerf Pong in chat, but no, nerf that axe kick. Get that out of here. Fong in, goes for the great juggle, back into the corner once again. Ooh, I like that air momentum from Nova Spec right now, backing up. I like to be very cautious with that B-skill space. Oh, great loose play, play here by Fong. K7 tries to get some breathing room using the reversal. Three of them. Now, Seth does have access to the first floor bar. Fong activation. Yeah, main activation, lots of damage here. The smoke in your face. Chris is going in with the board throw. That's it. Ooh, wanting the chip. The dip. That's it. Gets that chip with the critical art. And Chris is going to close it out with Seth. That axe wow, kick is so impressive. It, it is such a strong pool that that Chris CCH is really utilizing. I mean, we saw it three times in a row. And what can you do when that's in your face? I mean, from what I can see, Fawn is having a little bit more difficult time. Fight. Seth is finding his way. Maybe try once again with those smoke strikes. Oh, you have Mario's rating for the a party of 13. Welcome, party of 13 to the stream. Yeah, thank you. And now we see you enjoy some Street Fighter action. I hope you guys like some Fong gameplay. Great comeback here so far with Fong and Poison. With Seth. Tries to pull Fong in. Fong with the action. It's the confirmation forward throw. Seconds in corner. Yeah, you gotta be careful for two throwing out that beast still that close. Alright, the side switch, lots of damage in the rest of the beast trigger that throws it out. That's it. Seth with 10 hits. Gets the round on the board. Seth again Houston and the combo too. Great fresh counter here for Fawn, but he's a grab. Yeah. 
Great neutral jump by Seth. Right over the anti-air. Backing up a little bit here from Chris CCH. Very reliant on that. Ooh, catches the start of the spawn. Goes for the spin kick. Yeah, the nice thing with that spin kick is it is, I believe, projectile invisible. Got the throw here. Jeff does have access to full quick fall, uses it, and this is probably the worst error in the game out. Yeah, I believe, yeah, this is gonna kill. Alright, two up on the board for Chris CCH right now, looking Set. very, very Wait. clean, wanting to find his way back into Winterside, but... I don't think Nova specs out down and out for the count yet. We've seen him make worse comebacks. Right, no, not at all. I have a feeling he's gonna have to try to figure out a safe way to confirm into Seth and then get some more of that damage because the slow mounting damage of the poison and the pokes isn't doing it right now. Yeah, I'm wondering if Nova spec is gonna go for a character switch here. It's possible. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's always risky when you're coming up on this last round here because you don't know if you want to, you know, stick with what Let's isn't working but could, or if you want right. to switch it up and you know you have to warm up with a whole new character. It's, I, I think it's always a difficult call. So Actually, yeah, I was gonna say chat. I want to know what chat would think. What they would want to do in this case? Would they would they do the character switch last round? Or would they, uh, you know, keep keep with the the main? What would you do, Kate? You know what? I mean, I think it would depend on how comfortable you would feel with whoever your other character would be. But remember, in the grand finals, of Capcom Cup, I don't switch the poison. So you never know. And here we go with Honda. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Well, this is good. One. So we're gonna see. We switched from Fight. Bong to Honda. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be an interesting. Yeah, gonna be fun gameplay for sure. I think Honda can be a little bit of a character. He's got a lot of strong tools too, so. Alright, the aggression with the damage here. Going for the hunter hand slap. Yeah, the thing I have to commend to, Honda definitely gonna have a lot more damage output. You know, he's got a big guy, so he's got big damage to follow up with it. And he's got some armor with those EX moves. Great cross the combo there, goes for the axe kick. Great work here by Seth, and closes it out once again with the axe kick. Axe kick gets the round. Now, if uh, Chris gets this next round, he will be against Nova. Yeah, he's gonna move into grand final, so. Nova Spike really has a long way to go to kind of make up for this, but we're going to have to see if this damage output will work here. Nice confirm into headbutt. Now Chris has access to his Alright, backing it up again. I like trying to keep up with the rage. Activation here from Chris. I see that V-trigger switch too. Great feature combo there by Seth. Both characters having roughly the same amount of life. Honda, the headbutt. And we have confirmation with the Hunter Hand Slap is going to close it out. That is one round apiece for each character. Okay, first hit is going to be Seth, just out of throw range. Going in. What? Ooh, whoa! <laughs> That was an interesting interaction there. I think that was an anterior in the critical art from Chris DCH. Talk about reaction. Oh my goodness. Alright, activation of the Nova side. He just sat there. Chris activation himself. Nice defense here. Not nice enough. Okay, that's it. Seth is going to close it out with 
the forward throw. Seth oh wins. my gosh. That is it. Wow. Chris, Chris CC with Seth. Closes out the round. And you know what? I think this ends up boiling down to in the previous matches that we've seen with Nova Spec. It's Nova Spec versus, time. you know, Mira, for example. He controlled the pace of the match. Mm -hmm. And in this match against Chris, he couldn't do that. He didn't have as much freedom of the screen and ended up getting caught a couple of times. And he couldn't keep that pressure off of him. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I think Nova Spec really struggled here against the Seth match. Um, I don't know, again, it's always a matter of is it, you know, no like playing knowledge or is it just bad matchup? Um, and sometimes there's just uh, unfortunate stuff, but what's not unfortunate is that match arena looking pretty nice here with the $62, but I know we can get it even higher using the promo code wnfo 21 underscore sfb please make sure to go use that code it is a free 50 cents added to the prize pool it costs you nothing but you know a, cu a couple key strokes and you know if you've already used the code but you want to help out even more you can complete those sponsor quests on the right hand side and if you got a little extra change in your pocket you can always throw it our way too it'll definitely help it supports the players gives them something even harder to fight for that's right, yeah. Help that pot grow for players. You know, they're doing a great job entertaining everybody and, you know, the skill and time put in for playing and everything. It's it's a great it's a great thing. Absolutely. And if you guys like what you're seeing tonight, please don't just leave it up to us. Make sure you clip your favorite moments in tonight's tournament. Gets you some extra free clout. You know, WNF is obviously going to retweet all the awesome, awesome content that we see here. So definitely want to check that out. But up next, speaking of checking things out, we got Grand Finals. That's right. Looks like it's going to be Nova Spec and Luigi. That's going to or... be... No, I believe it, it's going to be Chris CCH and Luigi. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta refresh the the bracket. Oh, it is. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I got the two. I got the two sides. I mean, I'm always down to see more Street Fighter Five, but I think at the end of the day, we do need to find a winner. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have Fight. that Guile Seth match up once again here. Yeah, and this was Luigi sending Chris and into the loser's side, so we are going to see that salty run back, you know, the comeback from Chris CCH here. Going to pull through it. Did he learn something on his short journey back into Grand Finals? Or is uh, Luigi going to reign to Well, he's going to these guys right off the bat having roughly on a life here a little bit of neutral play seth does make the confirmation a little bit of shimmy into the forward throw gets the second throw dial patient combo into activation yeah lots of meter here to play with too all right both players yep into critical art closes it out yeah, the thing I appreciate, Luigi very conscious too, you know, of his meter. He saw that opportunity the moment that meter hit, and he utilized it because he knows he can make it back to the next round. But for CCH, can have a slight advantage here. A little bit of neutral play here by both characters. Seth trying to find a safe way in. Projectiles on the screen. Normal. Are you too slowly? Step away. Great combo into projectile. Seven. Stun adding up here. There's the stun. Luigi going in with the jumping combo. Got the PKO. Starting off grand finals the way he likes it. Dial's gonna take it. First game on the board. Yeah, definitely pulling through. Luigi is a force to be reckoned with. And the thing I appreciate too, he was checking Chris CCH's movement. Any opportunity Chris CCH tried to take to walk in, Luigi had a button to check it. So you're not getting in my corner. This is COVID. 
six feet apart. <laughs> I don't see a mask on you. Fight. You can't pull up your scarf. That doesn't count. <laughs> Show me everything. Okay, the game's going to start off right away with the command grab. Seth going for the forward throw, pushing Guile once again into the corner that he was in just last time. Guile down to about 50%. Yeah, his health is slowly dwindling. I like the V reversal. Again, combat against the Sonic Boom does not give him that opportunity. The stun is building up, but we see activation here from Luigi. Cross up combo with V trigger. What are we going to have here for Guile? Great anti air. Oh, block DX Hurricane Kick. <laughs> that movement was from Chris CCH there. Backing up. Oh, just Ooh, letting the fire on that left Sonic Boom. Oh, we're gonna use the yeah, vertical arc to chip Guile out. Yeah, I definitely think that was a, a smart move there from Chris CCH to use the leader to chip him. You don't let him live for another day. Okay, Guile trying to get to confirm on the jump in. Keeping that distance going. Yep, and I see too, but we just got that full meter on that. He's really just in the zoning game right now. Seth, getting the combo for Guile into the corner. Close to stun. Guile is stunned out. Neutral jump combo here for Seth. Wow, gets about a third of damage. It'll end up throwing up the throw, but we see the wake up EX flash kick. Oh, we're just gonna have to play careful. Activation into Sonic Booms. Or the throw. Guile. Oh, sweep for Seth. It's gonna close Seth it out. Wins. We are one game apiece. Yeah, we're definitely pulling through right now. I mean, we kind of saw the story play out before, you know, very much back and forth, one to one. So, you know, are we going to be in for a long night of uh, Chris pulling it through to to do the bracket reset, or is Luigi going to somehow make something work? I don't know. I mean, I would say right now these Fight. these two players are playing pretty equally. So we just kind of have to hold tight and see. That's it. The jump in combo there for Guile. Yep, nice there. Catch your toes. You better watch him. All right. Stuck into the corner there. Yeah, but we've seen this before. Luigi not afraid of being in the corner. Activation here. Getting hit with the axe kick. You gotta be careful. Damn, that's a good set. It's fun to capitalize on yeah. that stun. Closes it out. Round this board. Yeah, a little too much face there in the flash kick. Very unfortunate for Luigi. Seth has access to full critical art. Saving that critical art. Both characters now have full bar access. Goes for a man grab. Trying to safely find an opening on Guile. Goes for another throw instead. Yep. Luigi pulling through now. Ooh, the single confirm into critical art. I think this is gonna kill. Oh, it does! Ooh, magic pixel, what are we gonna have? Pick up VX flash kick. Confirmation. And uh, access to V trigger for Seth. And once again, goes for the sweep. You know, it's amazing. It's, it's a, a little bit. Um, elusive to see how far that sweep goes. You don't really expect it. Yeah, it's you know? very similar to bring Chun Li back into the conversation. It's very similar to Chun Li's crouching medium punch. You mm -hmm. have to be very cautious of it. And that sweep is actually a great tool too to combat against projectiles because of how low it is. So I think it's such a strong tool, but it's sometimes overlooked for that. <laughs> Guile doing a great job of keeping Seth out. Just at the right distance, too. Can't be pulled into that tandem engine. Seth healing up some of the spray light. Guile gets the jump in. Yeah, great jump in there from Luigi. Backing up a little bit here. Activation, raw activation here by Seth. 
Trying to open Guile up a little bit. Knows you can't just jump in on Guile because he's always charging. Absolutely. <laughs> that is, that, that's one thing you have to be comfortable with. So great anti air there from Guile. Again, another anti air. A pixel of health remains. Too much confidence there in this. Great combo here by Seth, but it's got to be the EX Flash Kick that's going to close it out. Now, both characters have access to two bars. So, what are we going to see? Great start here immediately by Guile. Yeah, I really appreciate too, you know, he's kind of walking back, keeping that spacing. Doesn't want to get hit by that, uh, that V skill. Great combo here for Seth. Carries Guile over into the corner. Guile coming back, getting a little bit of breathing time. That V reversal, keeping the pressure on Guile. Ooh, the return with the EX Cradle, following up the throw. The pressure is on keeping Luigi in the corner. I like that cross up there, too. That's going to close it out. The EX uppercut set is on the board. Final that is one round each for Chris and Luigi. Seth with a jump in over the projectile. Gets the full 12 hits. Yeah, starting it off strong again with the rotate skill. Luigi that gun adding up a little bit of breathing room by the EX flash kick. Alright, yeah, yeah. 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 the the I love to see it. Oh, the EX back kick, trying to find his way out of the corner. Luigi trying to be extra safe here, that green light slowly melts him away. A little bit of a trade on the anti-air. Pushing in the corner, but don't throw. Heck. Again. Players about oh, even me. for life, but the wake up cradle. Yeah, closes it out again with the Set uppercut. Wins. Yeah, we are Best seeing basic. a bracket reset. Unbelievable. Very smart play here by Chris. It's go time. Yeah, definitely really looking really, really strong for Chris. I I'm very impressed right now with his comeback factor. And I, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. The use of the V reversal has been such a great offensive tool on his part. Right. You know, he really has shown that the the sonic booms just aren't anything, or at least nothing that he cares about, by utilizing that V reversal, staying and keeping that pressure going. That right. And this. if you're within that sweet spot with Guile, while he is throwing that sonic boom, when he's in the negative, we see Seth jumping in and getting the jump in hit confirm, getting that damage on Guile, and a couple of times using the tandem, pulling Guile in for that command grab. So let's see if Chris is going to keep that momentum up against Luigi's Guile. I see everybody in <laughs> chat. I see saying Cola. Shout out to Cola on mic earlier. Saying, Chris, you are uh, messed up. <laughs> Chris just woke up and chose a bar. <laughs> All right, well, we have a little bit of give, give and take here in the beginning of this match. Guile being very patient in the corner. Jumps out. Sends projectile. Seth caught on it. Yep. Blocks oh, no. the uppercut. Yeah. Too much faith there in the EX. Lots of great damage. Got that stun. Hit. Neutral jump combo. He just EX flash kicked on Chris CCH. Wake up. <laughs> the disrespect from Luigi right now. Pulling it through. Show me everything. All right. Projectiles on the screen. Pulls Guile in. Goes for the forward throw. Guile in the corner once again. Shimmy in combo here for Seth. Ooh, Shimmy once again. 
confirms on the whiff. Guile is stunned. Neutral jump combo here for Seth. And yeah, unlike the V-Skill Ender, they're very smart. It gives them a little bit of an edge. But Luigi going with the activation. He's got full meter to play with here. That's right. Great to throw. Activation here for Seth. What are you going to have? Kyle's down to that edge. Great pixel also. Ooh. And the trade! Closes Trading. it out for Chris. Yeah, pulling it through. And this is what I'm talking about. I love to see more Street Fighter V action, so keep the rounds coming. <laughs> Luigi backing it off, conscious of that spacing. Okay, both characters have one bar each. Text in the corner of the screen. Guile keeping some pressure here with the EX Sonic Boom. Goes for the anti-air. Back throw. Seth now in the corner. Yeah, again, trying to punish that v that use of the V-Skill is very, very difficult at that range if you guile. Going in with the back throws puts Chris CCH at a nice advantage here with the corner pressure. Activation and the throw again. Guile being very patient here with the mix up Seth has. Has his own V reversal to get a little bit of breathing room. Both characters have access to their critical art bars. Yep. Kyle having a, a sustainable, a substantial amount of gray life that closes it out with the EX Splash Kick. Guile wins. Yeah, Guile really pulling it through right now. Yeah. Um, I love the patience and the defense from Luigi. You know, he didn't try to throw out a jab or anything like that. And right. Block that strong mix up from Chris CCH. You can see the confidence in uh, Luigi's movements right now. He's he's looking Round so one. good in the neutral with a, a very solid defense. Right now we're going straight into a combo with the flash kick once again. Got the crush counter. We're being a lot more aggressive right now. Pushing Seth into the corner. Yeah, I like he's backing off a little bit now, he's trying to kind of maintain the spacing. He knows he has a huge life lead, so he's able to play a little more defensively. Gotta be careful though, because the spin kick are the development. Activation from Chris CCH. That's it. Raw activation's going to get punished there a little bit. And Giles going to close it out. Very uh, convincingly for Luigi with the round on the board. Both characters yeah. have one bar each. Again, very conscious of us facing the new skill, but the great answer there for this is the shimmy of the shake. Oh, once again, yeah, shimmied right out of that throw. Guile is in stun. Yep. Huge damage here for Seth. Goes for the forward throw again. Ooh, small trade there, but I see Luigi. Oh, getting hit with the overhead. That's right. Closes it out with the overhead. And we are one round each. Guile does have access to the full critical bar. All right. Seth trying to get that jump in. Show me everything. Oh, oh, Alright, backing it up. I like that walk back there. Again, trying to maintain this spacing that's really optimal for Luigi. Great combo here Ooh. for Guile with the wake up dragon punch for Seth. Just out of range for the throw. What's the mix up for Seth gonna be? He throws Guile into the corner. Tries to keep something going with the axe kick. Nice and here with the flash kick there from Luigi, backing it up, but gonna get clipped on the toes. Activation, back throw. Oh, moving combos into speed trigger, and Guile closes it out. Guile wins. Yeah, Luigi, very convincing right now to pull through for grand finals. Looking so strong. Right, you know, in the very beginning of this uh, match. Guile was really keeping the pressure up on Seth, and then it was quite a, a give and take there at the end. Round but uh, Guile, once again, keeping Fight. a clutch, closes it out. And he wins this game. He's going to win this Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah, Chris, you see, he's right now trying to even up the life, giving him a lead. 
Shimmy there. Luigi finding his way in out of the corner. Guile's health down to about 50%. His stun completely melted away. Seth trying to get the jump in. Great anti here there for Seth. Throws Guile back into the corner. Oh, but we have an EX flash kick on the Guile gets it. Activation. Plenty. A boomer's activation there from Chris CCH. In the back throw. What are you gonna do? Strike right Seth now in the corner and uses V trigger to cross up on Guile. Gets the win. Yeah, that's the thing. You cannot write off Chris CCH just yet. Not when he's still alive, but oh, that punish on the cradle is unfortunate. That's right, blocking that DP is going to get big damage here for Guile. Stun adding up into a stun neutral jump combo. Into Ooh, the critical art to close out the round. This is tournament point right here, ladies and gentlemen, for Luigi. What are we going to have here? Who's going to get that first hit? And Seth gets the jump in. Gets the full 20 hits. Throws Guile into the corner. Yeah, and lots of stun being built up here. Gotta be careful and see that throw. Okay. Asian from Luigi finally lands a flash kick activation. Alright, the baby boomers are loose. That's it. Oh, Guile trying to get another Sonic Boom, but snuffed out on the start of that. Throws the last of his D trigger out. Yep. Very oh, good. walk up throw. Oh, oh, and the trade on the anti air is going to give Chris the round. Seth wins. Yep, Chris CCH lives to see another day as we go. Two to one for Luigi and Chris. Very good uh, optimization of choices for Chris. He really had a good awareness of the distance that he had and if you look Fight. he does a real tiny <laughs> shimmy and has been capitalizing on, on the whip throws that Gal has you're gonna see right now Gal's really having to come back great anti-air this style yeah Luigi playing very confidently right here delay on the wake up alright packing it off a little bit Again, I really appreciate Luigi trying to be cautious of the spacing, but Chris CCA tracked him into a corner. Activate pressure, but activation from Luigi. Right, we've got a combo activation here. What's the follow-up going to be? A little bit of feature from Chris. Activation feature from Seth. Ooh, talk about a nice answer here. Again, both players too. Full meter to play with, full stick of butter to cook. Oh, I know it's on the menu. Seth combos, Guile into the corner, tries to go cross up. Ooh, talk about the patience, the defense from Luigi right now. Guile down to the magic pixel. Oh man, closes it out with a low. Chris gets the round. Yeah, Chris points through right now. Trade on the ends here from Luigi. Ooh, that was a risky jump in. Just that range for normals. Bit of a trade on the cross up. Kyle getting a little bit of breathing room there. Both characters yep. have access to one bar piece. Flip on the axe kick there. Again, I love to use there the EX Sonic Boom. Combat against V skill. And backing up. Chris gets the jump in. Alright, we have activation of the trigger. Great combo in the corner there. Yep, going in with the throw, keeping the pressure going. I like backing up. Got a little bit of life lead. The activation here from Chris CCH. Ooh, the side switch. Kyle getting the pressure here, and that is it. The, uh, v trigger cross up is going Set to close wins. it out. Seth is going to take it. Quite a comeback here for Chris, which means now that this is to Chris, to Luigi. Who do you think is going to take it, Alexis? 
I think it's too hard to say. I mean, we've seen this sort of play out before, you know, in, in winners finals where constant back and forth. So it's kind of expected that it would make one. it into the last Fight. match of tonight. But this is the match that's going to determine this week's tonight fight yeah. winner. So it's too hard though. Okay, both of these guys, a little bit of give and take, Guile throw. Again, like these, the use Sonic Boom there, going in with the forward heavy kick. Yeah, and I want to know, chat, who do you guys think is going to win? Definitely root for your favorites. Right now, I think it's too hard to beat it inside. We got a sweep into activation here. Seth trying to find a safe way to op optimize on the V trigger. Gets the cross up, but can't confirm the rest of the combo. Yep, nice blocks here from Luigi. Great defense. Oh no! That's it, raw activation. Oh, if the critical art gets snuffed out. Oh man, the spacing was just not right there. That was insane. Luigi activating now, following up the baby booms. Great anti-air for Guile. Projectiles on the screen, and Guile closes it out with the crouching kick. Oh man, I am feeling heartbroken for Chris after losing all that meter. He is going in with the forward kill, turning out the round strong. And this could be match point here for Luigi. He's down to about 50% right now. Stun is adding up. Break on the throw here, backing up a little bit. Guile with the cross up. Alright, putting pressure on Seth. Great use of the reversal. Ooh, the EX flash kick to retaliate. Nice Great combo here from Monty G there. Alright, activation of Seth. Throws Guile back to the corner, goes for the forward throw. We are taking this down to the final round. Who is going to take it, Seth or Guile? Chris versus Luigi. Yeah, definitely down to the wire right now. Luigi with a nice life lead at the round start. And both players too, full meter to play with here. So it's, it's really difficult to say. Nice confirmed though from Luigi. Chris right Yeah, is playing a very patient projectile heavy game. Really keeping that space from going. Holding the zone in the center of the screen. Great block of the mix up there. Ooh. Getting hit with the drill, but Luigi's got that forward throw on deck. Backing up, getting that space. And it's the punch will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Luigi is this week's Wednesday Night Fights winner. Unbelievable. Fantastic job by Luigi's Guile. You know, level-headed, unbelievably smart, you know, knew when to capitalize and get the damage when he could. Um, you know, time. he really established the footsies in that last round and knew to really keep Seth at that distance that he couldn't get anything going. Yeah, I would agree. I think his patience was just unmatched. He did so, so well. Um, Luigi really played that defensive uh, game at the end there, and it worked out in his favor. He just had the right momentum, but that isn't the right Chris CCH, CCH off yet. You know, he's an extremely strong Seth. I think there were just a couple small mistakes there made that were just a little bit unfortunate. And of course, to Luigi keeping the pressure when he did have the opportunity. But I, I keep saying this, but I love the use of the V reversal. You know, he didn't rely too much on that V trigger activation to kind of bring him back into the game. He used the V reversal as more of an offensive tool to maintain this mm -hmm. pressure that Seth is just so well known for. So, right. Really, yeah, really, really gay. great gameplay tonight from not only Chris and uh, Luigi, but from all the competitors. It is always wonderful to see everybody come out. Uh, two Wednesday night fights online Street Fighter 5 and make sure you guys are checking out that match Reno 
No, it gives them something to fight for, and it definitely supports all yes. the players here tonight. Gives them uh, definitely some love, so make sure to please check that out. But uh, I was going to say it's been wonderful, Kate. But so this was a wonderful experience. You know, special thanks. It was awesome doing commentary with you, Lexus. This is good. This is great. Yeah, it, it was really a time. It, it really was. It's a treat to be able to commentate with you, and I believe... Uh, you're commentating on Friday, correct? For Queen of the Hill series? I'm not quite oh, sure. my apologies. Right, I'm not quite sure just yet because um, I think it I think it might depend on uh, another another work schedule, but if not, then they might call me just to see. But but we'll see. We'll see what'll well, happen with that, but yeah. This was this was an amazing experience. You know, special thanks to you and special thanks to Alex. Absolutely. You Make know, sure to go give Level Up Live series some love as well as Alex Y some love on the internet on Twitter. But uh make sure too to give uh Cujo Kate some love. If people want to hear your lovely voice and hear all the great things you have to say, where can they find you? Um, I stream on Twitch and you can find me on Twitter too. Just type in Cujo Kate on there, and I'll be there. Awesome. We have some great conversations. <laughs> For sure. And if you guys want to hear my nonsense and me rave about Chun Li and all that silliness, you guys can find me on Twitter at Flexus underscore, on Twitch at Flexus underscore, and on Instagram at Flexus FGC. Thank you so, so much again to everybody who came tonight, who competed, uh, and who stuck around to view. Definitely stick around though, because I believe Vi has some great more Street Fighter action for you on his own time. But uh, on that note, I am Flexus. I'm Kuchu Kate. Have a great night, everybody. Adios. Bye.